Hey everybody, it's Erin from Scandalous Beauty and today I want to talk to you about my brows. So I have been documenting my eyebrow micro shading journey from the day that I got them till yesterday, the day that I got them touched up. So I'm going to start off by saying that this was an investment that I was really eager to take because I don't have great eyebrows. They are bushy. They don't have any real shape to them. And on a day to day basis, like filling them in was work, like trying to figure out where they should be and how they should be lined up and if they were the right shape and if they need to be thicker or thinner or if they were aligned and doing a little ma like that was just a lot for me. So my thought was, Getting my brows done, the same way people get lashes or whatever else, it's just one less thing to worry about that um, I could just, you know, be kind of careless about after it happened. And I was totally careless with them after they had healed. It was just a no brainer for me. My brows were always done. And I literally have not filled in my brows with any product since the day I got them microbladed the first time. So, I got my brows microbladed in 2021 in September and I was supposed to get them touched up I think like a year later or a year and a half later and somehow I just missed that mark I don't know how I missed it so uh, I ended up getting them actually redone yesterday like I said um, which was two and a half years later exactly 887 days later and Jamea was like, girl, you never came back for your touch up. I was like, oh, this is my touch up. No. Oh, I waited too late. OK, got it. So overall, though, the reason I didn't go back and I wasn't like in a rush to go back is because I still love the way my brows looked two and a half years later. So for me, investing those hundreds of dollars, which I I want to tell you how much they cost. One, I don't remember. Two, I almost hesitate to say, hesitate to say it because I don't want you to investigate and like want to get your brows done and you see this video two years later and it costs two hundred dollars more so just know it costs several hundreds of dollars several hundred dollars to get it done um but i honestly just don't remember how much either i remember thinking oh i've never spent like four hundred dollars or five hundred dollars on my brows before but i i just don't remember i don't know i could look just know it was around there so, so now what I want to do is show you day one before I got my brows done, what they looked like and what happened, how I healed the before and after, um, what the day to day looked like from the scabbing, the itching, which was annoying. It wasn't unbearable. Um, the micro shading pain, which was also not unbearable. I don't really, I don't think I talk about it in the documentation that I did, but um, she does numb you. She says to, like not to have any caffeine 24 hours prior and there's certain medications that you can't take. There's definitely stipulations um, and criteria that you have to meet to get this done. That next two weeks is not unbearable. I mean, you kind of don't want to look at yourself because again, your brows are scabbing and they're a little itchy and they start to look kind of like plastic after a while and you have to basically coat them in um, aquaphor or some kind of like sealant to keep them safe and you can't wash your face all over. You have to keep them as dry as possible. So it's a process. But once you get over that hump, your brows are just everything. So now let's just take a look at that first couple of weeks and you can see the documentation day to day. I'm about to go get my eyebrows micro shaded. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so here's the after. Wow. These look so good. Like, so good. Look at that. Look at that. Holy moly. So, um, this is, of course, like the first few minutes after I got my brows done. So, there's going to be um, a lot of changes. The color is going to definitely soften. There's going to be like the ugly period with the scabbing and like the crusting and all that kind of stuff. But apparently it takes like 
three to four weeks before they're like fully healed and like ready to go. So I'm hoping to keep everybody posted and to like keep up, but like they look so good. This is such a big difference. I love, I love them. I absolutely love them. Shemay did an amazing job. Look at that. Look at that. I could not do that on my own. I love it. Even like with brow powder and concealer, like I could not do that. Like this looks so good. I just, I love it. I love it. Day two. <laughs> Almost been 48 hours. Okay, we're leaving. Lighter hair. Okay, I have her head, let's go. Day four, and I've hit the slightly itchy, definitely getting crusty phase. Ombre is coming in. But still, like, from here, looking pretty good. All right, day five, healing is here. As you see with healing, a lot um looks like some cracks here definitely some cracks here uh it's giving plastic brow realness but um luckily you can't tell on zoom so yep there we go day five looks like i went a little hard with the little gel because I think I wiped it under my Anyway, look at that. Wow. Oh, you can't pull it. Ah. Why not? Why not? I think the big crusty piece came off. What about on the other side? No, the other, other bra. That's not a color, is it? Oh. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's going. Oh, yep. I see. It is off. Alright, so it's been a week. Day seven. A lot of the scabbing is starting to come off. Like, as you see, it's like here, but it's not here anymore. It's not here or here. Um, so. Day eight. Ooh. Feeling like crazy. I don't want to see anybody. I don't want to leave the house. But, um, we're getting there. All right. So it's day nine. Um, a lot of the scabbing has come off. It's just little, little pieces here. Um, like really little pieces, but, um, we're getting there. I have a lot of, uh, the little cream on there, so it looks a little gray, but, um, looking good. It's day 12. I finally washed my face today for the first time brows are looking great no little scabs or flakes left so it's exciting it's going up doing good loving the look still day 13 made my hair appointment I'm not gonna wash my hair in the shower like I normally do so I'm excited brows are looking magnificent I just live for them truly My daughter actually went and got a brow tint, a brow tint done. Her mom actually got micro shading too. And she had mentioned that I hadn't been back in a while. And I was like, dang, that's a good point. I haven't been back in a while. All right. So I'm minutes away from getting my brows touched up. And apparently I was supposed to get my brows touched up like a while ago, many months ago, maybe even like a year ago. Uh, don't know how I missed that. I knew I was supposed to, but like they still looked pretty good. So I didn't think that I needed a touch up <laughs> so badly, but apparently I do. So again, it's been years. I'm still 100% pleased with the way that my brows look, but I'm going to get them touched up now. 
Um, this process should only take an hour or so, but because I haven't been in so long, it might take longer. I'm not sure, but um, I'm excited to see what happens. So let's let's do it. Jamea's space is beautiful. It gives it's it's the the very aesthetic that I am into, which is like um, heavy on the prints, a lot of black prints and dark prints and pops of color so it's just like the whole place is a vibe like when you get in there it's just a vibe you just want it to be your office space or your living room or your bathroom like it's just a it's a it's a great place to be and you just love it all right so i just got back it's definitely a big difference yeah i should have come earlier um <laughs> maybe a year or so ago um but they look great um they didn't like hurt her it was discomfort for a little bit but um it was fast it took about an hour so they look great i'm really really happy with them um so this is day 887 or 888 i guess but day two of having them touched up and um the touch-up process lasted about an hour it was um it was it was seamless i mean we just had a we just chatted about Risa Tisa, Nessa Tessa, or whatever her name is in that situation. And pretty much by the time we finished talking about that, it was all over. And so, ooh, y'all, woo, y'all, woo, what a story. Um, and so this was, this is it. I mean, it, it took no time at all. The aftercare instructions that she sent are basically the same as the first go round. So I think this, the, the, process will be the same there will be itching there will be uh, scabbing but I think after two weeks I'll be back to normal and so overall if I could make a recommend recommendation if you're interested in micro shading which also from what I understand micro shading is like actually mimicking the shapes like the hair shape versus like microblading which is like a block of color or something like that. I can't remember. I don't know, but I got the micro shading. I knew whatever the case was, I just wanted whatever I saw on her Instagram. I was like, if you can do that for everybody else, I want you to do that for me. I don't care what it is called. Uh, so that's what I got done. I highly recommend it. Again, I haven't thought about my eyebrows since I got them done. It has taken an immense weight off of me. It has reshaped my face. I have been sick. When I say I had strep so bad that like I had to prepare myself to swallow because it felt like knives going down my throat. I looked crazy. I sounded crazy. I felt terrible. But I had looked in the mirror. My face overall was jacked. But baby, those brows were sitting in a moment of despair. My face was I mean, literally like land of the dead. When I say my brows look so good, despite it all, it was great. So I have two weeks until I can, again, wash my face thoroughly and all that. So I'm just kind of spot, I'm washing down here and then I'm using micellar water on my forehead and around the area, uh, aquaphor on the brows as they heal, um, that kind of thing. Um, she's great, the customer service was great. She was efficient. Um, there were no hiccups. There were no questions. We got through it all and it was just a great overall experience. So I highly recommend Jamea if you're looking for a person, if you can try, if you're in um, Maryland or uh, Baltimore specifically or the DMV or whatever, or you're willing to travel, do it, do it. It's, it's worth it. Jamea books out like it, it, when she releases her availability at the beginning of the month, you have to get on a wait list, basically a, a email list. And then she releases availability for certain days and you better grab it quick because she books out like for real. So just keep that in mind. But it's it was worth every dollar. Every day was worth it. I just, I, I, I can't recommend her enough. And this was not sponsored. This was not a hookup. Like I know Jamea from the makeup artist days, you know, that I had and that she had, and we were in the same cliques pretty much, know the same people. Um, this was not, again, a discount or a hookup. This is me being a fan of her work and being a loyal client. And so I just didn't want to gatekeep that. I just want to share it with y'all. So that's that.
amazing. So if, as you probably know, all of her information is going to be in the description area, including her social media links. And, um, that's all I got for today. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon. I did the whole video without earrings. Mm, mm, mm. That's a shame. Um, yeah, have a great day. I will see you for the next video. And if you have been micro shaded or had ombre brows or you went to Jamea or you're thinking about it, feel free to let me know what your experience was. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below because I try to hit everything I could think of ahead of time, but I, hopefully I answered any questions that you might have. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video. Bye.